Nestled on the bank of the Willamette River, just a stone's throw away from the buzz of Portland, lies a hidden gem in the Pacific Northwest of Milwaukee, Oregon. Milwaukee's got a lot of history, a lot of charm, a lot of character, a lot of community spirit, and in this video, I want you to get the full effect of Milwaukee, so I'm gonna cover every neighborhood. You won't wanna miss this one, stick around. Located in Clackamas County, right on the border of Multnomah County, Milwaukee holds the distinction of being the first incorporated city in Clackamas County. With a population of uh, just over 20,000 people, known by the nickname the Dogwood City of the West, formerly home of the world's largest dogwood tree, Milwaukee is really well known for its safe and vibrant communities. This area was originally settled in the mid-1800s, Milwaukee would grow from a, a small sawmill town to a bustling city with the construction of a railroad through the area. That railroad kind of really goes right through the middle of Milwaukee, kind of separates the downtown of which where I'm at right now, the Lake Road neighborhood. Uh, it separates those two areas and then Linwood, Campbell, Llewellyn, and Ardenwald neighborhoods that we'll visit later in this video. It was always a great excuse for why you were late for class. A lot of people use that in high school. Oh, that slow train, I got stuck behind the slow train again. And after the construction of the railroad through the area, the community eventually became you know, the affluent community that it is known today. It's also an early transportation hub for the area. So initially anchored in agriculture and timber, Milwaukee's economy has really evolved over time. Now it's kind of a more diverse with local businesses, industry and services. And in fact, I would say Milwaukee just off the top of my head, is probably home to more national brands than anywhere else in the Portland metropolitan area. You might recognize some of these. Bob's Red Mill, Breakside Brewery, which is a, a, a nationally award-winning, internationally, I think, award-winning brewery. Dave's Killer Bread, Precision Cast Parts, and Dark Horse Comics. Like I mentioned, we're gonna cover every neighborhood of Milwaukee, and so we're starting off first in the downtown historic part of Milwaukee. I know this area well. I was born and raised here. And uh, between all the other downtowns in the Portland metropolitan area, uh, specifically for the suburbs, I would say Milwaukee actually has had about as much, if not more growth than anywhere else. Probably see some of that uh, construction going on in the drone footage. A lot of condos have been put up here over the, uh, the past uh, couple of decades or so. In fact, if you see right by that uh, place that says Pietro's Pizza, there's a brand new place that's being developed with 178 units right now. And then the other condos that you see just past that in the drone footage, there used to be a Safeway there uh, nestled right up next to the Letting Library, probably, probably one of the more popular libraries in the Portland metropolitan area. That field that you see is part of uh, Waldorf High School, which is a private high school. It used to be Milwaukee Junior High. Uh, there's now just one junior high, which you'll see in the next neighborhood, which is Rao Junior High. The downtown historic part of Milwaukee is where the high school is, which is Milwaukee High School. There's just one public high school that's in Milwaukee. And this downtown area is uh, home to a lot of great events. The Milwaukee Sunday Farmer's Market is held here and is actually still going on. It's gonna go on until the end of October, which is, for the Portland metro area, not as common. A lot of farmer's markets in the Portland metro area tend to end uh, around September. And it's definitely as good, if not better, than any of the farmer's markets around the Portland metro. So you also have a First Friday. Uh, which is June through October, every first Friday, which is basically one huge block party. Milwaukee was settled by the Llewellyn family, and we'll get to the Llewellyn neighborhood in this video in just a moment. Milwaukee also places a strong emphasis on its urban forestry program. It's been recognized as a Tree City USA for several years. Again, it was uh, a few decades ago, it was home to the largest dogwood tree in the world. This town has some awesome parks and green spaces, and most notably right by downtown, Milwaukee's really made significant efforts to revitalize and make use of the Willamette River waterfront, which is called Bay Park. When I was a kid, it was just a boat ramp and uh, a parking lot. And as you can see from the drone footage, uh, they've come a long way with developing that space and is really a popular space for people to hang out, and there's quite a few events that take place there as well. So they've done a really great job to develop that space. It's great. It's a space where a lot of people hang out and uh, there's also quite a few events that take place there. If you like to take public transportation, uh, there is a TriMet station right here in downtown. 
just over there. As for the real estate market, there's been 34 homes sold here in downtown over the past year. Average days on market was just 16 days. Average list price was 522,000. Average sold was 529,000. The high was 875,000. You're gonna find a mix of single family homes. And like I mentioned, there's quite a few condos in here as well. Those condos on average are probably mid to high fours. Again, all kind of built relatively recently in the past 20 years. Now, a few other small neighborhoods to mention right by the downtown. One would be Waverly or also known as Waverly Heights. Waverly's really known for its kind of older, just really character rich homes. The architectural styles often reflect uh, kind of early 20th century and uh, they've really kept it that way over the years. Many of the homes have been preserved or restored to kind of maintain their original charm. So it's a really unique neighborhood, older demographic for sure. And connected to that neighborhood is the Waverly Country Club. It's one of the oldest country clubs in the Pacific Northwest. We've got golf, tennis, swimming, various social activities. It's a private golf club and a country club right on the Willamette River. And that club boasts uh, an 18 hole championship golf course. And over the years, Waverly has been a host for numerous golf tournaments, including several major Pacific Northwest championships. Like I mentioned, it's a small community, so not a whole lot of real estate transactions over there. Just three over the past year, they were all condos do have a handful of condos aside from uh, these older homes that I mentioned. The average sold was 432,000. And right now there's currently two homes listed in there. One is listed at 1.8 million and the other is listed at 1.99 million. Condos in there are gonna average around four to 500,000. All of the homes in there are going to be probably over a million dollars. And there's gonna be some that, that get into the twos and the threes. And just south of that is one other uh, similarly sized community, another small little neighborhood called Island Station, which is really a blend of residential homes, green spaces, and then there's a few commercial spaces. Many of the homes in that area kind of take advantage of the river views. So if you're looking for a river view and you want to be in Milwaukee, that might be one place that you can look. One popular attraction over in that neighborhood is Elk Rock Island. It's a natural area with quite a bit there. You might see a little bit of wildlife. There's some hiking trails. A lot of the area is blocked off to preserve the nature habitats. And the island itself, you can actually get to when the water's low enough. Similar to Waverly, it's a small area, so not a ton of real estate activity. Over the past year, there was four homes sold. Average days on market was just four days, incredibly. Average list price was 555,000 and average sold was 546,000. Next, we're gonna head over to the Lake Road neighborhood. And by the way, welcome back to the channel or if you're new to this channel, living in Oregon, you wanna see more videos about what it's like to live here, especially the Portland metropolitan area, make sure and subscribe. My name is Seth Marchant. I'm a licensed broker in the state of Oregon. I'll be your host today. If you're somebody that's thinking about taking the next steps and moving here, if you have any questions about moving here, you can call, text, email, or you can click the link below in the description of this video on YouTube if you wanna schedule a Zoom call with us, or if you're watching from TV, hit that QR code. It'll take you to our website in which you can find all of our contact information. And Lake Road Neighborhood coming up next. All right, now we're in the Lake Road Neighborhood. Rao Junior High, which is the only middle school in Milwaukee, is here. Used to be a Milwaukee Junior High as well, but like I mentioned uh, in the previous area in downtown, uh, that is now a private high school. The Lake Road neighborhood gets its name from a major roadway, Lake Road, uh, which you'll see uh, in the drone footage. That's where kind of a lot of the, uh, the traffic is concentrated. Runs right through, uh, pretty much separating all of the Lake Road neighborhood. So its location uh, gives you really easy access uh, to downtown Milwaukee. If you just keep following, as you see in that drone footage, if you just keep following Lake Road, you'll be in downtown in just a couple of minutes. And if you go the opposite direction, you can head over to Happy Valley where the Clackamas Town Center is. Right before the town center is the Clackamas Aquatic Park, which is a great amenity. I spent a lot of time there growing up myself, and uh, I think it's as popular as ever. It was actually constructed around the time that I was a kid. So it must have been built about 30, 35 years ago, something like that. This kind of location and uh, with the parks and the recreation area and the proximity to all the shopping center, pretty much all the good shopping, uh, this is gonna have the best proximity. There's really kind of a, a blend of urban convenience and suburban charm in the Lake Road neighborhood. 
Also, the neighborhood also offers a, a diverse range of housing styles. You're gonna find older, really kind of character rich homes uh, to newer construction, which is what you're seeing right now. I'm actually in uh, the Cherigino Farms subdivision. I believe it's gonna be the newest, largest subdivision in, uh, in Milwaukee. And the name, uh, as you might've guessed, this area used to be a farm, wasn't that long ago. I have a lot of memories growing up. Uh, going up and down Lake Road of uh, people out here picking berries. It's tough to choose uh, a favorite neighborhood in Milwaukee, but this might be my favorite neighborhood. I was actually born in Portland, in a hospital in Portland, but uh, resided, my family resided just off of Lake Road. So this area is definitely near and dear to me. As far as the market over the past year, there's been 34 homes sold in here. Average days on market was 29 days. Average list price is gonna be a little bit higher, kind of propped up by that new construction. Like I said, you won't find a whole lot of new construction throughout Milwaukee. So average list price was 584 and average sold was right at 584. You might also notice uh, from the drone footage, uh, that baseball field, that is, uh, that is for Milwaukee High School. Again, we just came from downtown where the Milwaukee High School is, but uh, right on the border of downtown. So if you want to be close to the high school, close to the downtown, Lake Road is uh, ideal if that's the, the things that you're trying to keep close proximity to in Milwaukee. Now next we're going to head over to the other side of the expressway, the other side of Highway 224, the Milwaukee Expressway over to the Campbell neighborhood. Now we are in a great little neighborhood of a Hector Campbell, probably more commonly known as a Campbell neighborhood. I didn't pick any particular location in this neighborhood, but uh, we do have a house for sale here. Looks like with a fellow EXP agent. This neighborhood, like uh, a lot of other areas in uh, Milwaukee, and you'll see that in one of the upcoming neighborhoods, is named after one of the early settlers, Hector Campbell. He was a Scottish immigrant who was a prominent figure in the early days of Milwaukee's history. Don't know too much about him, but I've seen his name uh, around in a few places in Milwaukee. Now we're about as close to downtown Milwaukee as uh, the Lake Road neighborhood that we just came from, but we're on the other side of the Milwaukee Expressway, which is Highway 224. You also have the Omark Industrial Park that uh, separates the two. Probably the most notable thing in that Omark Industrial Park is the Bob's Red Mill. Breakside Brewery is in there as well. And if you're looking for some office space, there's quite a bit of open office space in there. This neighborhood uh, hosts um, quite a bit of community gatherings. There's cleanup days other and other events that kind of encourage residents uh, to come together. So really got a, a strong sense of community in the Hector Campbell neighborhood. There is a school here, an elementary school. Uh, named after Hector Campbell, so it's Hector Campbell Elementary School. There's been 32 homes sold here in the past year. The average days on market were 43. Average list price was 510. Average sold, like you've probably seen uh, with a lot of these numbers, just over average list price at 512,000. And the high was 740,000. This area is mostly gonna be residential, but you do have a lot of commercial surrounding you. Like I said, you're right next to downtown Milwaukee, and if you go the opposite direction, you can get to the Clackamas Town Center in just a few minutes. And next, we're gonna make a quick visit to the neighborhood Linwood. Now we are in the Linwood neighborhood, uh, just east of the Campbell neighborhood. And if you continue east, uh, just uh, a few blocks, or maybe a quarter mile or so from here, you'll get to 82nd Avenue. 82nd Avenue is a major uh, roadway that goes all the way to North Portland. Ton of commercial stuff all up and down 82nd Avenue. And just beyond that is Clackamas Town Center, which is the biggest mall in, the Clack in Clackamas County. The Linwood Neighborhood Association uh, is a pretty active uh, entity in the community. They engage in various activities from hosting community events to addressing neighborhood concerns and really act as a liaison between city government and residents. This is There's one school here, which is Linwood Elementary. The neighborhood's really known for community involvement. I know this area well. Uh, I've actually lived in this neighborhood before. From local events to community cleanups and neighborhood watch programs, you'll see those signs around quite a bit, those neighborhood watch signs. Residents of uh, Linwood really kind of, I think, come together to ensure a safe and clean environment in their neighborhood. One thing you might notice a little bit from the drone footage might notice a little bit of farmland. I mentioned Cherigino Farms and uh, the Lake Road neighborhood. You're not gonna find a ton of farmland or that much undeveloped land this close to the Portland metropolitan area. So it is pretty sparse. Don't let it fool you. You'll have to go a little bit farther outside of Portland like a Westland or an Oregon City to actually find 
enough kind of like consistent farmland to where you actually have a rural feel to it. This definitely still has a very suburban and maybe a little bit of an urban feel to it. As for the real estate market, uh, there were 35 homes sold here over the past year. Average days on market was 43 days. Average list price was 506,000 and average sale price was 509,000 actually with a high of 950. One thing about this area, and you, you kind of might, like I said, you might see a little bit of it from the drone footage, you will find some properties here with actually larger lots, like half acre, three quarters acre, maybe even an acre lot. So if that's something that you're looking for, you might be able to find it in the Linwood neighborhood. All right, now we are in the Llewelling neighborhood. Llewelling Elementary is here. This is one of those neighborhoods that's uh, sort of historic in that uh, it's named after one of the early people that helped uh, develop this area, Seth Llewellyn. Shout out to Seth Llewellyn, not a ton of uh, other Seths out there. Him and his brother Henderson were one of the first people to pioneer the fruit growing industry in Oregon and uh, is most notably credited for developing the Bing Cherry. A lot of this neighborhood is going to be very residential, not a whole lot of commercial here. We are just north of the Hector Campbell neighborhood and right on the border of Multnomah County. This is a quiet little area. There actually used to be another elementary here just a few blocks away uh, that was called Wichita Elementary and now is uh, a community center. Since 2010, the North Clackamas School District has uh, on their website says they've endeavored uh, through resources at the Wichita Center for Family and Community to provide district families with a central location in which to find assistance, food, clothing, housing, dental care, and after-school programs. You can look this place up online. It's got a lot of really great reviews. We also assist community members with rental of district facilities like gyms, fields, auditoriums, uh, etc. if you look at what their website says. There's a small strip mall uh, with a Safeway nearby that a lot of people are, are doing their shopping at. But the shopping hub uh, for uh, the Milwaukee area is really in the Milwaukee Marketplace, right next to downtown Milwaukee, right next to the Campbell neighborhood as well, just south of the Ardenwald neighborhood. It's gonna be the biggest uh, shopping center in the Milwaukee area. But just minutes away, we also have the Clackamas Town Center, Clackamas Promenade, there's a Costco over there, and one of Portland Metro's favorite shopping places, favorite grocery stores specifically, there is a Trader Joe's nearby, technically in Portland, but just minutes away from the Llewellyn neighborhood. There were 43 homes uh, sold here over the past year. Average days on market was 25 days. Average list price was 517,000 and average sold price was 519,000 with a high of 835,000. Probably not gonna find too much new construction here. A lot of the homes here are single family homes built mostly mid-century, 50s, 60s, 70s. With the occasional uh, tear down and new construction and then you know you're gonna find some homes that are even a little bit older maybe some homes uh, in the 30s and 40s and then next we are going to move on to our last neighborhood all right and finally we are in the Ardenwald Johnson Creek neighborhood mostly known as Ardenwald this neighborhood uh, straddles two cities actually part of this neighborhood is going to be in Portland uh, and also in Multnomah County, as opposed to Milwaukee and Clackamas County. So if you want to be close to Portland, this is going to be as close as you're going to get in Milwaukee. A couple, ju We're just a couple of minutes away from uh, downtown Milwaukee as well. There's one uh, school here, Ardenwald Elementary. Got a lot of great parks here. The Ardenwald Park is a neighborhood park. It's really kind of a, a focal point for many local events and a great place for relaxation and recreation. As has playground facilities, open green spaces, and this is probably a, a favorite area for the Ardenwald neighborhood among families. Now, apart from Johnson Creek, which is a creek and is a road, the road itself sort of separates Clackamas and Multnomah County. The neighborhood has a variety of other green spaces, canopies, and it really kind of uh, emphasizes the Pacific Northwest natural beauty. A lot of effort around here to protect and restore local habitats, especially around Johnson Creek. And as you might notice from the drone footage, there is an industrial area just to the east of here. There's not, not much there. Uh, used to be a movie theater. And uh, just past that, if you continue heading west on the other side of the industrial area, and just past that, just to the west of the industrial area is where you're going to find Waverly Country Club that I mentioned earlier in this video. Providence General Hospital is also here. Beyond that, the closest major hospital is gonna be about maybe 15 minutes 
uh, east of here up Sunnyside Road in Happy Valley, which would be Kaiser Permanente. There's been 44 homes sold here over the past year. Average list price was 501,000. Average sold price was just over that at 503,000. Average days on market was 36 days. The high for the sold here was about 750,000. I hope that gives you a much better feel for the neighborhoods and just the town in general of Milwaukee, Oregon. Again, my name's Seth Marchant. I'm a licensed broker in the state of Oregon. If you're thinking about moving here, if you have questions, I invite you to call, text, email, or you can hit that QR code if you're watching from TV. If you're online watching this video on YouTube, you can find a link in the description if you want to schedule a Zoom call with us. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. Feel free to comment below. And if you want to see more videos about what it's like to live in Oregon, especially around the Portland metropolitan area, make sure and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, take care, everyone.